All right, so this is Moon with 50 plus perks. And, oh, okay. <laughs> Instead of speed, color, or jug, it gives us, what is this? Zomb shell, and I can't even buy it because power needs to be on. What a troll. So there's literally no reason for us to stay in the spawn. Also, I swear, okay, there we go. Like, no zombies spawning in the uh, the actual, like, ground bit. All right, get a couple kills, and then we'll just head off. Okay, I think I'm going to go now, actually. Okay, here we go. Moon. Oh, it's been a while since I've played Moon. I don't know about you guys, but I genuinely believe Moon on Zombies Chronicles is the most aesthetically beautiful zombies map ever. Ooh, we got Blaze Phase in the spawn. Okay. They will change every single round, but yeah. Technically, we have around 90 plus perks. I think 98 if you include the double perk buy. So every single perk will have a second effect if you purchase it again. Which is pretty cool, you know. Rocking that gorgeous cherry fizz camo on the 1911. Oh, an insta-kill. Okay, I actually saved that for the next round. Oh yeah, so here we go. The perk just decides to change. And what we're going to get instead? Downer's Delight. Interesting. In a way, it's a little bit more risky because we don't have Quick Revive to spawn in with. But something I just want to quickly mention, I'm actually doing a giveaway. Well, I'm partnering with the Perkaholic store who have some extremely awesome perk bottles that you can get. Going to be giving away four of them. All right, so ignore the totally not messy room and the giant hands. Yes, hello. But as you can see right here, they have actually sent me some perk bottles that I can, well, god, I've never done an unboxing before, this is so scuffed. <laughs> They're all perfectly covered in bubble wrap, which I appreciate, but just look at this. I've got to be careful. I don't want to accidentally smash the, uh, the bottle before I, oh, here we go. So this looks genuinely really, really good. Let me just not cover up the logo. There we go. Angle it correctly. But just like the quality of these is kind of insane. I've bought perk bottles before in the past and They've always been like kind of cloudy liquid. They don't look as professionally made. The actual logo of the Speed Cola is pretty damn good, you know? Here you can just see on the top, of course. I believe the perks they have are Speed Cola, Jug, Double Tap, and Quick Revive. If you want to enter this giveaway, then go down into the pinned comment below. And essentially all you have to do is follow me and the Perkaholic store on Twitter and follow the instructions on the link because they'll probably be something like, you know, you've got to retweet um, the giveaway post as I am totally not struggling with this bubble wrap dude all right here we go and then we've got the double tap perk which again it just looks clean as hell there's a the little logo on the top all right boom and then here we have all four of the perk bottles in all their glory just look at how goddamn good these look so yeah check out the pinned comment down below if you'd like to get your hands on all four of these for free there'll also be a link to the perkaholic store etsy page if you want to buy these for yourself if you don't win the giveaway or whatever so but yeah we've had perks irl now back into the uh perks in game i guess all right so priority number one is going to be going to oh hello phd slider uh, going to turn the power on just oh my god there's perks everywhere high death perception it's nice because it just fills the gaps of the map where there's usually nothing i thought that was a perk machine <laughs> now here's one time slip another one oh a free perk nice we got ethereal razor you know, that's actually quite good because we can make use of that right now. But boom, the power is turned on already. Point Crusher is right here. Oh my God, that's huge. Why can I not buy it? There we go. Oh, it's 4,000 points. Jesus. I didn't realize it was quite that expensive. We can try and get it. If we get like a double points, that would be ideal, actually. I mean, we do have Ethereal Razor as well, I suppose. Oh, <gasps> double points. Oh, almost just ran into all of them and died. That would have been stupid. Well, there we go. <laughs> that's Point Crusher in the bag. One of the best perks you can get on this mod, without a doubt, because it just gives you so much money. I would love to buy it again, but it's 3,000 and we only have 990, so no biggie. We've got Fighter's Fizz. I need a gun, actually. How much is the Argus? 1,100? Am I really going to succumb to buying the Argus? I think I have to, bro, if there's nothing else I have. Actually, if we're still one-hit knifing, which we are... Maybe I don't need to worry about a gun just yet. Maybe I go all out with the melee. By the way, I love this blue knife. It looks very cool. If I'm not mistaken, the Bowie knife is... Oh, it's in the next room. High death machine. I'll take that. So yeah, every kill we get with Point Crusher is giving us an extra like 30 or 40 points. It's nothing crazy, but it's pretty damn useful. Still a one hit knife. Yes, it is. And oh, we got the end of this double points. Hell yeah. I mean, I'm going to be honest, like some of the Black Ops 4 perks were genuinely kind of underrated. Ethereal Razor definitely was one of the better ones to come out of the game, you know? It's just that majority of the BO4 perks were either incredibly niche or just so mediocre that they aren't really worth talking about. All right, I think we have like, what, th a few zombies left. Let's kill these three or even and hopefully not get in. The okay, we'll kill you as well. Why not? 
One thing I have noticed is that we haven't seen the astronaut yet, but we've got 8k. We can go and open the rest of the map, see what's around. What perk is this? Incina Brandy. Chance to ignite zombies, dealing damage over time, and they can explode, which is cool. Time slip. Yeah, here we go. Another like BO4 perks. Just speeds up mystery box and pap speed. So it's nice if you're like constantly spinning them, but it's not that needed. <laughs> the second PhD slider over here. Blaze phase. One of the most like trashy perks out there. Oh, hello, zombie. Go away. Oh, why did I do that? I could have... Oh, never mind. Victoria's Tortoise. We don't have a shield on this map, so it doesn't actually matter. Also, Box isn't here. Is it in the biodome? It is. Ugh. We could grab Elemental Pop. I mean, we're still a one-hit knife, which is nice. I'm going to get it. Fuck it. Like, <laughs> Elemental Pop is so good. And we'll pick up a KN-44. One of my favorite guns to pick up on. Moon. Oh, cool. That was a close almost death. I keep forgetting we don't have Quick Revive because <laughs> the perks they keep changing. It's fine. We're good. We'll, we'll go towards the Biodome in a second. Carpenter, don't mind if I do. See, the thing is, when you're playing Moon, just because of the fact that there's no sound, it's actually kind of terrifying. You forget just how useful sound is in zombies. Oh, a free perk again. Bandolier Bandit, don't mind if I do. Just basically gives us more ammo. Banana Colada. Speed Cola. Actually, you know, while it's here, I'm going to grab it. Oh, no, the crawler, you little bastard. Oh, speed cola's over there now. Okay. Crusader's Ale. Oh, double melee points. Okay, we actually want to get that then. How much is it? It's only 2,000. So if we go for a melee kit, what happened to my face then? That was weird. But is it a one hit? It is. So we get double the points for getting a melee, and we've got the point crusher perk. So we're getting so much. Imagine if we had a double points right now as well. But I want to grab... Oh, not a nuke. I, I don't want to grab a nuke. But oh, we can double buy anyway. Double speed cola means we can get extra damage after we reload, I believe. That was some crazy knife lunge. What does double by Crusader's Ale do? Have a chance to slightly heal the riot shield. Well, considering we don't have a riot shield, it doesn't matter then. Oh, listen to that. Cha-ching! All those points. Love it. We got in this corner. Zom shell. Nothing special. We've got the stupid biodome about to bloody ruin my world. So let's go and sort that out. If we can even find the hacker. God, stupid Nova crawlers. Oh, here we go. Hacker found. Easy peasy. Oh, never mind. We do have the... Oh, there's the astronaut. Christ. From out of nowhere. Miracle hands mocker. It's the power up changing one. Yes, we're definitely grabbing that. It's just, it's such a good perk. Can we actually get through here without dying? I don't think we can. I'm not going to risk it. Screw it, bro. I mean, let the exca excavator do its thing. Until I get Jug, I don't think I can do that. Oh, that's actually a bit of a challenge then, huh? Tombstone. Oh, what's up? I'm good, man. Hacker box. Oh, someone actually mentioned in my last video that we were playing Town that I should try out that and see if we can get a pack punch gun from the box. Because, well, especially on Moon, that would save a lot of time. And... A uh, higher chance to get an upgraded gun if we buy it again. So let's actually get it a second time as well. Just trying to uh, focus because they could easily sneak up on me right now. If for some knife kills actually since we get the double points. How much is the double buy? It's only 1500. Hell yeah. It just, it feels so good to be getting this many perks. Like just constantly drinking them. It's just, it's fun, man. Richtofen's poor liver is destroyed. But you know, in the name of science, you know, Richtofen is a scientist. I'm sure he would uh, accept it. All right, let's open towards the biodome. So yeah. At least it's excavating the biodome. It doesn't matter that much because we're going to be wearing the helmet in here anyway. There's no reason to have the hacker in the biodome. But here we go. Let's go for a spin. Can we get a pack a punch gun from the box? Like, imagine if we get the wave gun, you know, that would be nice. But <gasps> the haymaker's pack a punched. That's so cool, dude. Screw it. We'll go for another one. Why not? The XM53 is also pack a punched. I mean, it's not the gun that we want right now since we don't have PhD. Oh, hello. Random perk dropping. Vigor Rush. Uh, the Locust. I mean, I guess I'd rather keep it than the Locust, but that's just so cool, bro. What I really love about this mod is just the fact that you can chain a bunch of perks together that you wouldn't normally be able to even get. Like Ethereal Razor plus Crusader's Ale, which obviously is a custom perk. You would never be able to do this otherwise. So it's nice just seeing how they interact with one another, how they complement one another. We've got 5,000 points. Jesus. Quick Revive or Jug would be great because, okay, Stone Cold Stronghold. We're not really camping though, are we? 
Hello? What just happened to my character? Also, next time we get a power-up, we can actually change it. That was like the goat of the last map that we played. And if you'd like to play this mod for yourself, of course, a link to this will be in the description below. It should be the top link of the description. Dying Wish. Ooh, tempting. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna get it. It's just too good. Ethereal Razor here again. Greatly increases melee further. So, hmm, we should actually buy that. If the goddamn zombies would hurry up. All right, there we go. So now, when we use Ethereal Razor again... It's still going to be a one shot until maybe even like round 20, 30, maybe. Well, we got banana colada. Don't care as much as something like, you know, jug. I see you faster health regen. See, that would be good. We'll come back for that at the end of this round. I love it because I'm a big fan of like collecting things. So just running around the map and chugging a bunch of perks is quite satisfying, you know? I see Quick Revive, Downer's Delight is cool and all, but give me this. Apparently, we did double buy it in town because I was very confused. I was like, why am I not getting the double buy? Why is this Nova Crawler floating? With a bunch of questions, you know? But I think I double bought it earlier in the game and it just didn't like show up for some reason. But speaking of double buy, how much is it? 2,000 double points plus Crusader's Ale. Oh my God, dude, this is giving so many points. <laughs> it's like 400 per kill, bro. Oh no! Why did I do this? No! I didn't think it was the end. I was too addicted to the uh, the double melee points. God damn it, dude. Now we've got the stupid excavator going again. I suppose this is what I get, isn't it? Oh, Widow's Wine is actually the worst perk to buy. Okay, Quick Revive's just here. Thank God. You do not want to buy Widow's Wine on Moon, but we will probably get it eventually if we get like a free perk or just to collect them all, you know. But right now, I mean, I'd rather not because it just decontaminates or depressurizes all the areas. I'm gonna go for a spin of the box because I'd like maybe some kind of LMG. Oh, a shotgun. I mean, it's better than a no PhD. It's not pack-a-punched, but it's fine. We've got a death machine right now anyway. We're cool. Oh, a free perk. What is it? Some kind of, ooh, what? Jesus, why is that zombie sprinting? Some kind of liquid icon, though. Teardrop? I don't know, bro. Oh, what's up, astronaut? Go away. I'm gonna double by uh, Dying Wish just because it's too good. Stamina up, I'm gonna get. What is the double by effect? Unlimited sprint and fire while sprinting. Uh, I'll wait. Ooh, cashback cocktail. Oh, if we could get that, that would be good because it means we get money back for every purchase we make. That would literally be one of the best perks. We only have two zombies left. Oh, there's no way. We can't get 3k from two zombies. Oh, that's so sad. Dude, this is actually kind of scary. Like just at the back of here, very little sound. No jug, just praying that I don't go down. Pretty much melee only as well. I got a carpenter. I would have loved to have swapped that out for something instead. Oh, an insta kill. Here we go. A max ammo. I don't need that. Turn it into a nuke and turn that. Okay, we've got a max. You can only do it three times. If we double buy it, it guarantees that we get like not a nuke or something or not a nuke or a carpenter, which would be really nice because we could potentially get a free perk from that. Oh, that was the round. Jesus, that was fast. I also realized I didn't buy Blood Wolf Bite. <gasps> that was almost a lost perk. Crusader's Ale. Um, oh, why did I buy that? Riot shield health. It's so pointless. Okay, if we get Fighter's Fizz, if we get a kill, we can revive with all our perks. So I think it's actually worth I just pick that up because I, I might go down right now, honestly. We can't go this way because of the stupid uh, excavator. Oh, God, maybe jump, bro. This game is horrifying. Hello, turns just flying. Oh, God, laying down when I shouldn't be. God, this is sketchy. I'm going to get the death machine and sit in the corner. That's the best course of action. Just scanning. Oh, is that cashback cocktail I see over there? Oh, we could double buy stamina up. I'll do it. Is it? What is this? Oh, it's ICU. Okay, faster health regen. Actually good. Double buy invincibility and speed boost last longer. Sure, we'll go with that. This is so fucking stressful. Okay, we can shoot and sprint though now, which is actually really solid. Hello, zombies. Don't jump scare me around this corner. That's not what I want. You know, Vigor Rush is good because it basically just gives you explosive damage on your bullets. Hello. Christ, man. All right, I'll get it now. Oh, hello. Oh, frick. Yeah, so as you can see now, every shot is sort of exploding. More damage, less problems. That's the motto of COD Zombies, really. Oh, Point Crusher. Okay, we can double buy this. Chance to buy... <gasps> Beep, 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 yeah. I don't even know the noises that I just made, but I almost shat my pants. Holy fuck, dude. That was... <laughs> that, that was one of the... Oh, that terrified me. Give me that max. You know, I'm almost tempted to get the goddamn nuke just because I'm terrified right now. But part of me wants to um, convert it. Just have to not go down. All right, let's just quickly... Free perk. There we go. We got time slip. It wasn't exactly that worth, but... 
Oh my god, dude. Six zombies left. Buy this. Okay, so we can get extra, extra points. It's still a one-hit melee, by the way, which is just insane. We'll buy this door now. I guess we'll just kill the zombie because there's no reason to keep it alive. All right, we'll start from here and then we'll run all the way through the map. So we've got Ethereal Razor, already got it. And Sinner Brandy's not that amazing. Eh, I'm not seeing anything super worth sticking around for. Okay, Crusader's Ale we've already got. Miracle Hands Mocker. Okay, we could double buy it. Don't go down! Don't go down, don't go down, don't go down. I just got really fast. Thank you, ICU. I think that was the perk that did that. I just want Jug, bro. Is that too much to ask? I'm going to buy this perk. I'm not going to buy this perk yet. Thank God for the haymaker right now because it's saving my butt cheeks. Oh, we've got a carpenter. Can we turn this into a free perk? Let's go ice something. All right, so here we go. So yeah, every time we convert um, power-ups now, it will give us a higher chance of getting a perk. Okay, we've got one zombie left too. Oh my god, bro. My heart. My heart can only take so much. Is there a wonder fizz on this map? I think there is, but I mean, we could always go and pick that up. Why did it turn into a goddamn... Oh, it turned into a stupid Nova Crawler and I killed it. Whatever, bro. Any jug, please. Please. Nuka Cola. Nuke when downed. I mean, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong, but... What's Fighter's Fizz doing again? Oh, you just keep it when reviving or whatever. All I have to do is get a kill while down to be able to uh, get all my perks back anyway, so... It's no biggie. Stone Cold Stronghold. I'm just going to buy the box. Oh, we got the Reagan Mark II. Let's go. I don't even care, but it's not packet punched. That is massive. That's exactly what we wanted, really. Oh, we got a nuke. Okay, insta-kill. Perk. There we go. Widows. <laughs> Double-edged sword on this map, but I suppose it will come in handy for like... I mean, in the biodome, it will be good because we don't have any need to... Uh, like, it's been excavated, so we're good. Oh, death machine. Turn that into a double... Insta and free perk again. Victorious Tortoise. We have one zombie left. Let's go and scan around for more perks then, I guess. I would seriously love Jug right now. What does Elemental Pop do? Uh, effects happen more often if we get it again. I just realized when we get PhD, it's going to be like a nightmare. Oh, hello. Don't do that to me, astronaut. But because every time we slide it, it'll explode. It will be a nightmare for this map. Because everywhere will just get fucked up. Vigor Rush again. Explosive. Okay, double damage. That's actually quite nice. Ball Ice Blast is double jump. I mean, if we have nothing else to get, maybe I just get that. <gasps> actually, Vulture Raid would be good too, wouldn't it? Check what's in spawn. Oh, it's Blood Bullets. Uh, It gives us like more ammo in our stowed stuff. Okay, that's cool and all. Oh, hi. Fuck me. Oh, I was going to go buy Vulture Raid. Never mind. Unless... Hey, I got it just before it left. Hell yeah. Oh god, the last excavator is going to go off soon. If that happens, we're actually in a bit of a sticky situation because we can't get back to here. Fuck, so by the end of this round, we really need to go and sort out this shit. Oh yeah, and now we have Vulture Raid. We can see where the perks are on the map. So do I see Jug anywhere? Don't mm, think so. That's PhD... Goddamn crawlers and shit. Move out the way. I guess it's possible it could be in the spawn. That's that's a good point. Normally, Jug and Speed Cola will be in the spawn, but as you've seen, you know, Speed Cola's been around the map. The, the perks completely change. Why do these Nova Crawlers keep floating? Double points. I'll actually keep this because it would be quite useful. So, pew, 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 pew. Uh, oh, we're actually not one-hit meleeing anymore. Is that because we got Widows? I swear it's cancelling out other perks like Ethereal Razor. Which is so annoying because it would be really useful. Also, I'm going to use the Reagan because I don't want to accidentally get a turn, you know. All right, here we go. I'm going to also throw my Widows away so we don't accidentally do that. So, Hacker Time. I don't remember the exact spawns. Please tell me it's just like on the wall here. That would be great. Oh, of course it's a Nova Crawler as well. Oh, I found it, I found it, I found it. Okay, okay, here we go. So, now we just have to run. We have to go this way as well. Oh, God, please, stamina up, save me. Okay, I think we can breathe here, right? Yes. Okay, good. Now we just have to get back into the spawn quickly. Okay, and which one do we have to hack? Is it... Oh, it's over here, right? Oh, we can do all of them, I guess. Boom, done that one. Do this one. Zombie, don't jump scare me, please. Oh, hello. I see you. Boom, and move out of the way. Hey, we hacked all of them. Perfect. We'll get this back. Oh, just another day in the life. And we got so many points for doing that, by the way. I'm going to buy this, Madgaz Moonshine. So let's see if we can find Joe. I'm not seeing it on the map, though, but... Tacticula, Firewall Sprinting, chance to regain fired ammunition and get bonus points. Okay, that's not too bad. Sprinting causes electrical charge. Shooting a zombie. Oh, zombie shell. Dude, that was actually such a good perk. I should have bought that ages ago. <gasps> Back cocktail. Let's go. 
I have enough for both of them as well. So now every purchase will be better. It will be cheaper. Also, we do have the little ball thing um, for the Easter egg since we did get the tunnel six thingy. But uh, okay, any jugs? I just got to scan. I've got to do my wall hacks, bro. <gasps> I see it. Oh, you have no idea how happy that makes me. Seriously. Oh, I don't even care. Like I could totally accidentally get hit by widows and break these and I wouldn't care. Also, I think with the sprinting, we're actually charging up the stun. Yeah, we are. I forget what perk that is, but that's really cool. Oh, it's over there. Okay. We literally run right past it. Nice. We will get that by the end of this round for sure. I'm going to pick up that max because we're out of Reagan ammo almost. Insta kill. We don't need that. So we'll change it to a free perk. Let's go. Is that banana colada? I think. Yep. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. You know, one thing that's quite underrated from Vulturate is it makes the zombie eyes a little brighter, which I appreciate. They just sort of like stand out a bit more when, when shooting and stuff. Oh, another free perk. Stone Cold Stronghold. Okay, one zombie left. Bada bing, bada bu- What? Am I being scammed? It says Jug is right here. You are joking. Don't, 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 don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Okay, I'll buy zombie shell, dude. Will that make you happy? Why is Jug the not there is it on the other side of the wall is that it are you just baiting me right now game bro you've got to be kidding me it's not there <laughs> how can you bait me that hard man oh, come on is there like a way i can glitch by it or something prone and oh, i don't know switch weapons spin around five times maybe <laughs> No, that is depressing. So I guess it just glitched in the spot. Unless Jug is glitched entirely because it didn't spawn originally in the spawn. It was Speed Cola. Don't tell me that's it, bro. Okay, I'll buy Tombstone Soda. That's, that's just so sad, man. I mean, we can live without Jug. You know, it's not a skill issue or anything. We haven't gone down yet, to be fair. And we have a lot of perks that can make up for it. I guess we might as well buy Banana Colada again because why not? Pew, 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 pew. I wonder how long this video is going to be. We've already been recording for like 45 minutes. I spent most of it running around looking for perks, to be fair, actually. Oh, hello, astronaut. You you thought you could do it. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. What does double buying widows do? Spider power-ups can drop from unwebbed zombies. Ah, interesting. And if we can actually exchange them, that would be quite nice. Um, do I see Jug? I see Vulture Raid. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to double buy Vulture Raid then. Blaze Face, you know, I'll get it, because why not? Gotta catch them all. Is that Jug? No, it's definitely not Jug. It's fucking PhD slider number four. Power-ups give double rewards, sure. That sounds nice. I just realized we haven't actually been to uh... a... <gasps> oh, double tap. Let's go. That's, that's one of the perks that we could totally need. What? Is there no icon? Oh no, we already had double tap. Okay. So we just got even more damage from buying that. Attack tequila, sure. You know, Jug is definitely not here. Should I buy Deadshot? Sure. What does double buying Deadshot do? Additional headshot damage. Okay, actually worthwhile then, you're saying? Uh, let's kill you. Quickly grab this before it goes. Okay, we have Cashback Cocktail. What a goated perk, though. Oh, here we go. Widows. Okay, no, so we can't switch the Widows um, drops, unfortunately, which is actually kind of a downside because now we just have that as an additional drop that can happen. And, you know, we can only get six per round. At least I believe that's, like, true. I'm pretty sure you can only get six per round no matter what power-ups, anyway. But maybe Widow's Wine account differently, because obviously you can just get them from webbed zombies and stuff by death perception. It's kind of nice for when these doors, like, you know, I don't get completely jump scared by a zombie. A little bit underrated, actually. Uh, we'll buy Bandelier Bandit again. I think it said something about giving extra ammo for clips. Oh, hello, bastards. Go away. Ow! With the goddamn crap. Oh, is this the... Yeah, double jump one. So we want 4,500 points. We can turn it into exo-zombies if we buy this perk, which is cool. Hello, insta-kill. Free perk. Wait, did I literally just get the perk I was about to buy? I'm pretty sure I did. I mean, I guess it saved me 4,500, but come on, bro. Sure, I'll get the... Oh, never mind. It isn't the same perk. Oh, no, it is. What? Oh, no, it wasn't. It just took ages for the icon to show up. Okay. Anyway, all right, PhD slider. Why is PhD slider 4K, man? That is expensive. Down as delight. We haven't got that yet, so we can pick that up. 2,000 points. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to wait a second. I got a nuke. Whatever. Oh, Jug is there. Is it actually here, though? It's not. Dude, you can't be serious. There is a Jug, like, logo. It's right there. And it's just like, nope. Sorry. You're kidding me. How can you troll me that hard, bro? Oh, and there goes the decontamination in here. That's absolutely tragic, man. That's so sad. Anyway, 
We move on, I suppose, when we get free perk again. Let's go. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe we'll get Jug from a free perk if the machine ain't working, you know? That's kind of our only option. Oh, here we go. Free perk. Is it Jug? No, it's... Why is it just like... Oh, there we go. <laughs> you see that it adjusted itself. Ooh, there's a perk just hidden in this corner. Uh, double buy this. We've actually double bought a lot of the perks that we have, which is nice. PhD slider, finally. I think we already had a PhD slider, but you know, it's nice being able to just slide explode like that, even though it's not actually one-shotting, but it's the thought that counts, you know? Got these widows. Pew, 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 pew. This haymaker has been very um, kind to me as this game's progressed, not gonna lie. I realize we have a Reagan Mark II. We can also use this. Pew! <laughs> That's funny. What perk is in the back here? Stone Cold Stronghold. We haven't we haven't double bought that. So that will be just another one. I don't know how many perks we have. Probably about like 60, maybe 70. Oh, I got the insta kill. Damn it. I didn't actually want to get that. I was just going to go and get the mystery box again. See what we can get. The M8A7. Because I love the Haymaker, but you know, we have had it for a while. To be fair and all. Uh, the VMP. Oh yeah, we're getting cash back every time we buy the box. That's just so good dude. The Argus. Oh, and the bloody teddy bear, of course. Okay, we actually got the Argus pack punched That's not too bad, then. Change choose. I don't think we have that one. We'll double buy it, I guess. Pew. Okay, next round. Winter's Whale. Don't mind if I do. It's basically just Widow's Wine, but, you know, the secondary version, I guess. There's oh, we already had it. Interesting. Sometimes it double buys, and I really don't think that I have the original perk, but apparently I do. I mean, when you have like 98 perks technically to keep track of, it's, it's a bit difficult. We already have Banana Colada. Hopefully we get the box in a decent spot. Oh, it's in... Is that in the spawn? That's not a decent spot. I suppose it ain't, it ain't the worst, but... Double points, hell yeah. Let's ray gun it up. You know, we haven't been able to pack a punch yet. I will go back to spawn. We'll get this Reagan Mark II. What is that perk? It, okay. God, just slide, slide, explode. But here we go. Porter's Reagan Mark II. What is here? What is going on? <laughs> Magnet Margarita. I will happily take that, I suppose. It's nice as well because we can actually get the Widow's Wine drops from the packet point or from this area. Normally, you wouldn't be able to get drops at all at all here. Oh, the ray gun just has so much ammo. I love the uh, the perks. Increasing the amount of ammo we have in the uh, reserve. It'd be nice if it increased the amount of ammo we have in the magazine as well. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, dude. And this one perk that just stuns them when I run past them. Oh, it didn't do it that time. It was a bit of a cooldown. But it's so useful if you make a stupid play and just get absolutely obliterated. Can we chill? All right. I'm going to head back. Oh, wait. The perks actually change when we come back here. Interesting. Box time, though. The KRM seems to spin a lot faster. The FFAR. Okay. I like this gun. You know, it's very good. The CUDA. But I do want, yeah, like, pack-a-punch guns. But ideally, what I'm looking for here, the M14. I mean, I suppose it depends how good it is. It's not even pack-a-punched. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be that amazing, to be honest. It's... Never mind. I mean, it's it seems to be doing decent damage. KN44. Pack-a-punched. Nice. FFAR again. Teddy pet, of course. Well, at least we're spinning through it a bit faster now. I am unsure what perks we don't have, to be honest. I got a carpenter. Gonna run the absolute riskiest way possible back to, uh, oh, hello. Death Psycho. Mule Kick. We actually don't have that yet. So, I mean, we'll pick this up. Oh, we just got a free perk. Oh, I finally got Jug. Oh, hallelujah. And I double bought Elemental Pop, which is nice. Finally, I have more health, bro. It, it only took 20 years. Seriously, that took so long to get Jug. I had to go through, like, technically about 65 perks or something, which is just mad. All right, run past all these bastards. Oh, stop it. Muscle milk. Oh, it's a white drink. Very uh, sussy looking. Nitrogen cooled. Sure. Someone can probably keep count of exactly how many I have, but wait, Jug's here? Is the machine actually... Why is the machine actually here then for this one, but not for anywhere else, huh? Bloody scammers, man. Oh, what's this? Fire sale? I mean, eh... I don't really care about points that much. Sure, I'll just take the max. Good point, though. I wonder where the box is now. Oh, can we get a free perk from this? Yes, there we go. PhD number three or something. Oh, Swarm Scotch. I don't actually have that yet. 
Double buy. I think it's only four full rows of perks, so we actually only need a few more. Slowly but surely getting there. Oh, when the stupid excavator's back, of course it is. I think the best way is just running around the map, honestly. Even though it does get a bit repetitive, just going from place to place. Double buy blaze phase. How's your liver holding up, Richtofen? Probably not great. Oh, I see a few zombies. Yeah, see, oh, death perception is underrated, man. Extend the effect range even better. So you're just speaking of death perception. So now I can see through the walls even further, I guess. Wall hacks, we love to have them. Since we double bought Jug as well, we actually have like a six hit now, now, which is nuts. Oh, double by Mad Gaz Moonshine. We have like five perks left to actually get. And Daminate is one of them. Okay. Oh god, hello. See if we can hop down here without getting killed. What is this? Fighter's Fizz? Yep, we got that one to get as well. God, there's so many zombies. What's up, man? Uh, free perk and a double points. Let's go. Oh, we got Incinebrandy as well. That's another one we didn't have. Oh, and we could double buy it. Let's go. Fire effects last longer. Zomb shall we have? Okay, I think that's actually all the perks for this round. Oh, maybe an extra? Nope, we got a max. Okay. It's round 27, bro. This video is about to be long. I just, I feel very determined to actually collect all of them. I think, do we have Nuka Cola like fully done? I'll check. Oh, we don't even have it. Yes, let's go. Massive and boom. Two perks to go. And only a few that need maxing out as well. God, there are so many zombies. Okay, I see these ones. See, you can't jump scare me, bro. God, move out the way. Oh, move out the way, you bastards. Well, there goes the uh, the thing. <gasps> double by time slip. I'm looking at the bottom left. I think we actually have double ball. Majority of the perks. We have like PhD slider we need to do still. But I think that's pretty much almost it. There we go. Free perk. Oh, speaking of PhD slider, we just got it double upgraded. Yeah, no, I am. I'm looking at them. I'm pretty sure we have like four to go out of the 98, which is insane. Considering, you know, buying 98 perks, like... <laughs> oh, lordy. I just realized as well, where's Blood Wolf Bite? I'm guessing that's the one of them we haven't got yet. But we didn't get it in the town one, which is interesting because that it's definitely, you know, a perk that exists in this mod. I want my Luna, you know? Oh, I love Vulture Raid, man. I'm just I'm getting so many of these just ammo drops. My Regan Mark II has had pretty much majority ammo the whole game. <laughs> Oh, it's Ethereal Razor. I thought it was Blood Wolf Bite, because Blood Wolf Bite is also red. Oh, hello. You tried, bro. Death Perception didn't show up the astronaut, which is quite cheeky, I must add. We definitely have Jug. I mean, oh, at least it's showing up now, I guess. Oh, hi. Dude, this electric perk is so good. We even bought t t Tombstone Soda twice, so, uh... Oh, a PhD slider. Yes, double buy that. That's like one of the only ones we needed. And we got, what is this? Don't know, but we have it. Oh, hello, Vulture. I didn't even know there was a perk slot in this little corner. God, there's so many zombies. If I could get like a drop so I could turn it into a perk, that would be perfect right now. That's about all we need, really. Damn, we actually, hmm, we are a little bit low on ammo for our ray gun. Oh, <gasps> another PhD slider. Now we've already got it. Come on, there's two we don't have. What could it be? The only downside to this mod is it's so difficult to tell what you don't have. Run over these. Oh, we, I'm, I don't get ammo for the ray gun when I run over Vulture Raid stuff? Well, that's tragic. God, there are so many Nova Crawlers. Hmm, I'm just thinking, actually, maybe it's one of the perks that's, like, in the Pack-a-Punch area? That could be it. I mean, it's worth it's worth trying out. I need to go Pack-a-Punch the FFAR anyway. Hello, can I stop laying down? Boom, here we go. Pack-a-Punch, the Formless Fear. There's a perk at the back of the map here. Oh my god, dude. Didn't know that. And the good thing is when we go here is obviously it changes the uh, the perk location. So we can go and manipulate that a little bit. So yeah, see, these change. Let's go. What are we going to get? Oh, this one? No. And then we've already got that. God, man. <gasps> Max ammo. I mean, that's what I was missing, to be fair. I have no idea what it could be. Oh, okay. At least I turned it into double points. I accidentally picked that up. Damn it. Meant to try for a perk, but it's fine. We can probably get another drop this round anyway. We have 80 zombies, well, 60 now left. We have so many points, dude. So <laughs> dude, is it spawning more zombies per round than usual? Or am I just tripping out because death perception's showing more, I guess? Damn, anyway, uh, next round. Just kidding, where's the last one? It's uh, over here. Oh, <gasps> the last one dropped a free perk. What did I just get? I think it double upgraded something. Do I have all of them then? Is it just like glitched? All right, I'm going to scan around the map one more time. And if we don't get 
the last two perks, or at least see one of them, then I will call it there. Oh, 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 magnet perk. What's that? Oh no, we already we already bought that. All right, I've looked everywhere on the map. So if it's not in the spawn, I have absolutely no idea where it could be. Because it is weirdly spawning two in the spawn, which is making me wonder, hmm, maybe it's glitched. Yep, and this one is not it. So it looks like that's it for the mod. I hope you've all enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says that you might like it. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.